Hey guys, in this video we're going to go ahead and talk about um, writing the equation of a polynomial given its graph. Okay, so we've talked about uh, how to graph it in factor form. Now we're going to go ahead and kind of work backwards. Okay, so when you're doing these, okay, they're going to give you a graph like this, right? So how do we write the polynomial? Well, the first thing you got to recognize is the end behavior. Okay, now remember end behavior is basically just, just two. End behavior is the corner points right here, you see? How it goes up on both sides. So whenever the polynomial is even, like 2, 4, 6, 8, then they're both either going to go up. Same thing with the odd. So 1, 3, 5, 7, you know, goes up on the right, down on the left. So knowing that, it really helps you out. So when you look at the first one, you see it goes up on the right and down on the left. So I know it's a cubic. The other thing is you also got to kind of look at the curve. You see this, how it goes up? 1, 2, 3. So I know it's going to be a cubic. Okay, and it goes, it corresponds with with uh, the arrows, the end behavior. The other thing too, you got to look at the multiplicity or the Kobe. And you notice here, right here at the x-intercept negative 2, it crosses. And right here at x equals positive 2, it bounces. Okay, so if we're going to go ahead and write our polynomial, p of x, we'll call it p of x. Okay, now you start off with your factor. So what is the factor here? x equals, we'll just do it the long way, okay, we'll just x equals negative 2, and this one is x equals positive 2. Now, if I'm going to write this in factor form, I'm going to take the negative 2 to the left, okay, so let's go ahead and write it over here, x is equal to negative 2, so I'm going to take this guy to the left, he becomes a positive, so you're going to end up with x plus 2. Well, what happens on the right? Well, you have nothing left, so you just have x plus 2, so here I'm just going to go ahead and write x plus 2. So I'm just going backwards. Now what about x plus 2? Well, same thing, right? x plus 2 becomes x minus 2 when you bring them across. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and have x minus 2. Now this is where the uh, multiplicity comes into effect. So you see how it crosses when it's odd. You see how it crosses straight through? That's going to be an odd. So that's a degree of 1. Okay? Now here it bounces. So the bounces when it's even. Okay? So this guy at x equals 2, you can have an even uh, multiplicity, okay? You have a double root right there. So, and it makes sense because then this is 1x and this is 2, that makes 3 of them, so that's a cubic. Now, in order to go ahead and get more precise with this, uh, remember that polynomials, graphs, functions, sometimes they have a number here, a coefficient, Okay, a constant, it, it amplifies the, the graph, it makes it, you know, stretches it, condenses it, you know, um, whatnot. Well, how do you find that? Well, you're going to go ahead and use this point. And essentially, you can use any point along the graph. But since they give us this guy here, the y-intercept, we're going to go ahead and use that. So you notice x is 0, y is 3. So remember, this is your y. So here's the y is 3. A, we're trying to find out. So when x is 0, we're going to go ahead and find out the, the value, 0 minus 2 squared. So now we're going to do our math, 0 plus 2, well that's 2. So we're going to have a, 2, 0 minus 2 is negative 2, and then we're going to square that. So that's going to give us negative 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so we're going to have 8a. So when we go ahead and divide both sides by 8, we notice that constant, that amplifier right there in the front is going to be 3 eighths. So my final um, polynomial equation for this guy is going to be 3 eighths times x plus 2 times x minus 2 squared. And of course, if you want to, you can go ahead and expand this, multiply it out, but we're not going to go ahead and do that. But this should be enough for your professor or your teacher. And that's how you do it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and do another one. Okay. So notice, let's count the waves, okay, or the, or the curves, or the turns. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 4. So this guy, and the W is always that, has uh, a W is always to the, a polynomial of 4, a degree of 4. So let's go ahead. Uh, we know the end behavior. You see this? How they're both going up. So I know it's even. So it's going to be even. So I know it's 2, 4, 6, 8. And I know since it's a W and I counted the turns, uh, it's 4. So it's going to be S something to the 4th power. So we'll just go ahead and do P of X. Okay. Now let's go ahead and look at the, the roots. Okay. So this is 1, 2, 3. X equals 3. 
this guy's x equals oops that's negative three x equals negative two this guy right here that's is x equals positive two and then this guy right there is a two four x equals five okay so that's pretty easy now you get the hang of it so x minus three x equals negative three becomes x plus three Okay, x equals negative 2, well, that becomes x uh, plus 2. And then x equals 2 becomes x minus 2. And then x equals 5 becomes x minus 5. Okay. Now, we should have four x's because we counted the terms, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's. And you see how they all cross here. They cross there. They cross it right there. It crosses right there. So they're all a degree of 1, 1, 1, 1. So that's not too bad. The last thing i got to do is figure out here this a value in the front. And i got to figure out, okay, well, what's that multiplier, that constant, that amplification? And they gave me the, the y-intercept here again. I could use this. Actually, I don't want to use this one because then it'll set everything else to 0. But I want to use any other point except for the x-intercept. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this point right here. So this point right here... When x is 0, y is 60. Okay, so we're going to have 60 right there. And then a is what we're trying to find out. So 0 plus 3, 0 plus 2, and then 0 minus 2, and then 0 minus 5. All right. And you can tell it's not that difficult. So we have a, then we have 3 times 2 times negative 2 times negative 5. So 3 times 2 is 5. I'm sorry, 6. 6. And this is 10, 6 times 10 is 60. So 60a is equal to 60. Well, what do you know? That a is equal to 1. Okay, so my polynomial written would be just x plus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 5. All right, and there it is. If you want to go ahead and multiply it out, distribute, you know, you can do that as well, but this should be perfectly acceptable for your, for your teacher. Let's go ahead and see if we can do one more, guys. Okay, right here. Now, so we're going to do the same thing, but w what do you notice here? You see this guy right here? You see that little wiggle? Okay, that tells me the, the multiplicity um, is, is going to increase. Now, you know how it crosses, okay? So, right off the bat, Kobe, right? Our multiplicity. It, it crosses here, so it's either going to be a 1, 3, 5, 7, some type of odd. Now, since it crosses, okay, see when it crosses here, that's a 1. But when you have that extra wiggle, the multiplicity increases, so it's either a 1, a 3, I mean, a 3, a 5, or above. Now, the, the greater the multiplicity, then the more the, the, the wiggle, you can say, okay? It becomes more. All right, so normally it would be 1, 2, 3, right? But because of that wiggle, you can add uh, an extra, okay? Um, the other thing, too, is if you notice this one, up on the right, down on the left, right? So that tells me it's odd. So it looks like this guy. So it's up on the right, down on the left. So it's either going to be a 3, 5, 7, 9, something like that, okay? So... This one here, let's look at the roots here. That guy is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. x equals 5. This guy is x equals negative 2. That's a negative 5. And this guy right here is x equals 3. All right, so we have three roots, okay? So then we have x, e x equals negative 5 becomes x plus 5. Okay, x equals negative 2 becomes x plus 2, and then x equals 3 becomes x minus 3, okay? All right, now, it crosses here, and it crosses there, so that's two roots, okay? Now, but because here you have that kind of wiggle, that accent here, I know the multiplicity increases. Now, I really don't know, but based on the on how, how it's curved, I'm going to assume, and I'm just going to... Uh, apply what I know and I think it's only going to be a 3 at x equals negative 2. Now let me just show you guys something um, and you guys can test this out on graphing calculator on Desmos but the more 
for example, let's say this guy right here, the greater the, the degree, you can have more of a flattening right there, okay, more of a flattening, all right, so the, the flatter it is, it'll, it'll be greater like x to the 5, x to the 7th, x to the whatever, 9, you, you'll see that flattening right there, okay, um, and, and same thing with the, uh, with the degree of 2, 4, 6, 8, so a degree of x to the 6, you're going to see a real flattening here, over here where you have the vertex, you're going to see a flattening right about there. And you can do this, just graph it on your, you know, decimals or calculator and you can see that. So that's how I know. Do I know exactly? No, I just, I just kind of guesstimating per se, a possible solution for, for this polynomial. So now that I have that, okay, so I have three here, I have four there, and then one more is five. And that works because it's still odd one going up on the right, going down on the left. So now the last thing I got to do is I just have to figure out that value of A in the front. Okay, so... What do they give me? They give me this y-intercept here. Sometimes they won't give you the y-intercept. Sometimes they'll give you another point. You can use that point as well. So this is 0, comma negative 20. Okay, let's say they didn't give me this point. They might give me another. I might find another point here or here or this point here. Whatever it is I can use. Okay, but since they give me the y-intercept, that's a lot easier to use. X is 0. So let's see. Y is negative 20 equals A. So we have 0 plus 5, and then 0 plus 2, and we're going to cube it, 0 minus 3, and then we have negative 20, and then we have a, and then we have the 5, 2 cubed, and we have that negative 3. So now we can go ahead and start doing some mental math. 2 cubed is 8, 8 times 5 is 40, 40 times negative 3 is negative 120, negative 128. All right, so let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 120. And you end up with 1 sixth. Okay, so my polynomial, okay, when we do this, we get 1 sixth and we get x plus 5 times x plus 2 cubed and we have x minus 3. And there it is, guys. So not too bad, not too difficult. So hopefully um, that made sense and you're able to understand how to write, you know, the equations from, from the graphs. All right, guys. See you guys next time.